I think it was him. And then when I called the clubhouse, you know, the one that was listening. Um, but I, I, I think he's. I think that he's starting to remember. And now I think he's starting to realize that his baby just murdered and sacrificed, and then realize that part of his mind that said fuck that, they would not do that because the part where they make the agreements to do these things are when they're in that altered state when they have a child sitting on their penis you know, and stuff like that. That's when they get them to do it. That's how they do it. They're evil. It's sick. It's rotten. It just is, and, and check it out. Ball is all over the news here in Vegas about what's going on right now. <laughs> check that out. I wonder if I had anything to do with that. Well, I hope so. <laughs> um, and, oh, God, just, oh, um, I just tell everybody, I can't, I'm with them, like, right now to feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. And tell them, so I love you, like that in their mind or out loud. Or, and do it, do it, do it, do it. And right now, pray and get it. Let the face stop Diana's baby son. Stop them from murdering son. Because he's being sacrificed on Osiris, the day of Ceres. And the mystery of Ceres is what's called the Supreme Mother Council of the World in Washington, D.C., the Federal Lodge Mason Lodge, number one. In the mystery of Ceres, Ceres, Osiris, said, see, so this is, <laughs> if this sacrifice happens, this world just is going to better, just sit up, just know that they're fucked. They can stop themselves from being fucked. They can stop all the bad from happening, but if nobody does nothing, they're going to get what they deserve in this world. It's going to be the worst hell they ever fucking imagined. And everybody's been given the opportunity over and over and over to do something, and they act and do nothing. And if because they do nothing, they'll get nothing, and this world will suffer and will, you know. But I don't want that to happen because I see that there's, you guys are beautiful. Each and every one of you will be able to transform into who you are and what you really look like. And we don't look like we look like now. And stuff, and we should be able to like levitate over buildings and stuff. And we can, and the, the remember, remember the reptilians, the dragons, the magicians, the wizards, and their scientists. And their scientists, like when they examined my master Mason's body, you know, he said they spent like an hour just on his toe and every every single part of his body examining it. And they had wires and probes and that cap that over his head with thousands and thousands of wires coming out of it, a rubber cap that they put on him and but tell these people stress this people, what they're doing every single day to our leaders. So our leaders are victims, okay? Even Obama, Bush, um, everybody, everybody, these fucking dragons, there's seven plus one equals eight. They're the ones. If they might even be higher than Elizabeth. It's possible they might be the ones that are running her. But there's, there's some dangerous motherfuckers right here we're dealing with. Seven plus one equals eight. This is the fucking, this is not the dragon's den. This is different. The 7 plus 1 equals 8 is something much more evil and much more sinister. These 7 plus 1 equals 8 beings that Master Mason, they, and he said they're fluorescent pink eyes, and they were no hair almost, and they were 10 to 12 feet tall, and um, green and brown and bumpy, and they had, all had large penises. Um, okay, you get a pen and paper, Brett. You need to write all this down and tell my people right away about what happened. You, you need to tell them that, um, tell them that right now, um, Sebastian is not dead yet. He's still, he's still hanging there and he's still being tortured. He's still alive. The sacrifice started it's when the sun went down, but then it's still going on and he won't die until morning until morning when they finally, when he finally dies. But right now, he's still alive, or still, right now, he's still going through the sacrifice. Right now, um, and tell him, the news, it's, Bobo was on the news, okay, and the, they own the news and shit, so the, the Bobo shouldn't be on the news right now, and it's all over the news here in Vegas. Whoever these reporters are, are fucking stepping out and doing the right thing and, do, and going against the rules. They might even lose their jobs over what they're doing, but they're going to be fucking heroes and tell them I said that. Thank you. Thank you, because trust me, Boho should not be on the news. It's not part of their fucking what was told beyond. They, whoever did this broke the rules, fucking went and did it anyway, and tell them to spread it out, get it out there, everybody just pick it up and do it. Just Everybody just do it. Get it out there now, and they'll be heroes. But, the, but for what they're doing, it'll work. It will work. It will work, and that, that is recognized. 
those reporters just putting this on the news, because trust me, BOHO is not part of what was supposed to be on the news. But it's on there. So these motherfuckers, we got some badass, we got some badass, so, I mean, they're just, <laughs> we got some badass people on our team out there working, doing it, and those reporters, and tell them, I said, thank you, thank you, thank you from Tree. I recognize that, and I love you guys so much, and I love it, I love you, and I just tell them, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, hey, okay, get your pen and paper, um, but everything I say, you need to write down and tell my people immediately, our people right away, you're going to be famous and a hero because everything you did for me, you were the only one that helped me, that tried to help me, and so you will be rewarded for this, trust me. Okay, now, tell, um, I need you to mention King Leo and ask him to call me again because I think that that was a Troy who called saying they were King Leo. Uh, I'm not sure, though, but still, whoever had him call me, and also, um, what was it? Um, oh, when Master Mason was here the other night, I... Um, we chanted a little bit, and I got penned on, and I also got some words and pictures of stairs that he drew, these symbols and these words, and then um, we are one, one are we, and then um, they, hum, or um, they, or whatever, and drew this, drew this weird diagonal picture, a bunch of pictures that I'm going to put on YouTube. But the pen are, the last thing he said to me was that I'm going to be giving birth to him through the womb. He said, that's the only way he's coming out. He goes, you're going to give birth to me, and that's the last thing Pendar said to me. And then he's laying out of Master Mason's body. And me and Master Mason, I'm sure, will not be chanting again. Um, I'll have to figure out how to communicate with, tell, tell them I'll, tell them I need to get Peter. If I have my 44 day fast, I'll be strong enough to fight the queen. Okay, tell everybody, please hurry, Brett. Time is the essence. I hope you wake up in your sleep and have to pee and decide to check your voice. Not to just, fuck that. I hope you don't.